bodies hit the floor in Bleach Chapter 494, The Closing Chapter, Part 1. It begins with a few colored pages, including a great one of all the captains, and an awful one that's just the beams of light, which is just essentially white panels. The captains and lieutenants are all in a frenzy to rush to these multiplying pillars of light, including Rukia, who's taking off and says that she's heading to the base of the pillars since the enemy officials are most likely there. Cut to Yamamoto informing his third seat to protect the place while he takes his lead to fight with the rest. Jump to Kira and the 3rd Division inspecting one of the pillars. Izuru has a convo with his 3rd, 5th, and 6th seated officers, whose names I decided not to learn for a very good reason, because they charge him for an attack, but a beam of light emerges from the pillar and strikes Kira, taking off his arm and a portion of his torso. The others release their Shikai, but the Quincy comes out and immediately kills all three of them. Then we get something that I really enjoyed about the chapter, and that is multiple pages of the Vanderreich revealing themselves to the Shinigami. There's a guy with a mohawk, the Quincy version of Yami, uh, a hooded figure that still not showing himself, an old man, a young girl that kind of reminds me of Veruca from the Fullbringers, some creepy chick with that looks like she has spikes coming out, and a white-haired version of Byakuya. They warn them that they should be feared because they are about to purify all soul society. Finally, we see Division 12 calculating all the losses that they've had so far, including the disappearance of Kira's spiritual pressure. They find out that in seven minutes, a thousand Shinigami have been killed in this fight alone. The chapter ends with a random panel of Ichigo in his fight back in Hoiko Mundo. Really, really like this chapter. One of the better ones, I believe, that we've gotten in the past few weeks. I guess i just like to see the Shinigami finally struggling against their enemy because back when we had the Espada and Arancar, we're supposed to think that there's just this unstoppable force and Soul Society took them out, no sweat, and the Vanderreich is looking incredibly powerful. And like I said before, I love seeing each of them finally being revealed. My favorite panel was the shot of Kira apparently dying, and I know how horrible that sounds because I actually do like him as a character, but it shows that Kubo might have some balls in this final arc. He can start to kill off characters that the fans actually care about instead of the randoms like Chojiro. However, just when things were getting crazy in Soul Society, it appears we'll be back to Ichigo and Hueco Muno to wrap up his fight. Hopefully that ends in two or three chapters, because the captains and lieutenants need to show off and start some action. But let me know what you guys saw of the chapter, and possibly give me your predictions for next week. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace, everybody.